Um, this bill just does one thing. It clarifies that the state is not absolutely forbidden from using biological sex to differentiate between groups of people. We should think long and hard about the implications of our vote today. This bill should be a common sense clarification of current law. By voting against this bill today, we would be sending the message that the public entities are completely banned from having any separation at all for biological women, period. I think the fact that this bill is controversial should make us, should ask us whether or not we are out of touch with the majority of our constituents from both parties. All of us have seen many examples of written testimony, hunt over a hundred, and emails from all ages of individuals who are concerned about girls being bullied and their privacy and dignity is violated by biological males in locker rooms and bathrooms around the state. Look at Milford. Those parents and children spoke up. How many haven't out of fear of repercussions? The people deserve to have their voices heard. I have been to multiple events over the past two weeks, and I have spoken and asked about this bill at every one of them. People diver deserve to have their voices heard. This bill at least deserves a debate in the People's House, and I hope you will vote to recommend uh, to pass. One grandfather just last evening said, and I quote, we cannot provide equity for 100% of the people 100% of the time. That is impossible. We must provide safety for the majority and protect their rights to privacy, privacy in sensitive spaces, end quote. Supporting this bill does not make me against any of the LGBTQ community. It makes me a person who has asked and read and feels that I am working for the majority of the people I represent and who is willing to stand my ground for them and my informed beliefs. I also know that when testifying for Bill House Bill 104 yesterday was being done, there was um, a transgender that was sitting next to someone and the person next to them said, I understand that you want to use the girls room. But how are you going to feel if the entire football team comes walking into the girls' room when you're there? Wouldn't that make you uncomfortable? Thank you.